show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello again. We are uh, first time ever we're recording on the uh, same day of release. So because <laughs> we're so organised, we're so organised. It's it's one in the afternoon. It's not early Sunday morning. We're not asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we are awake. How are you anyway? How's how's life in the uh, that British guy world? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's been a shaky couple of weeks um, personally, but okay. that aside, all is all is kind of trudging on. Uh, as it as it should be, um, and yeah, had rather a uh, surprising Friday evening going to see a particular film, oh, of yeah. which there is a, a a review on my channel now, and there that is. was surprisingly um, well, surprisingly surprising, okay. which was quite nice. Yes, lovely. And yeah, it, it's on my watch list. Look, both your video and the actual film is it's on mm. my sort of because it's got Nick Frost in it, which I admire. But I don't think he'll be in it much by the look of the trailer. He is in it more than you think. I okay, thought that then. as well. I I honestly thought it was going to be like here's the four people in the family for the first ten minutes, and then off she goes to America, and then they disappear. But thankfully, that's not how it plays out. Yeah. Um, okay. Then. So yeah, it's it's surprisingly well done as long as you don't go into the film assuming that it's going to be beat for beat her entire career because yeah. they do take quite a few liberties with time okay um but yeah anyone that doesn't know anything about her that won't really be an issue but anyone that does just go into it expecting to see a film yeah <laughs> okay. rather than yeah rather than a, a retelling Fair enough. Yeah, I will. I will. It's definitely something I want to go see. And to be fair, when I saw it, I thought, well, obviously, <laughs> this is this is a film that you'll be seeing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you'd do a review though, so that was a surprise, and I will be watching that today actually. Yeah, Me it was just because I ended up seeing it so early. I thought, well, yeah, kind of strike while the iron's hot, really. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I think both me and my other half are going to watch that, and. Uh, <laughs> Before we go watch the film, because we've got our free Cineworld cards, but oh, okay, cool, yeah. Well, it's nice and spoiler-free. I might do some spoiler-related videos in the next couple of weeks, but yeah, I thought well, there's no point in doing a, a review and going, oh, and by the way, here are all the really important things. Oh, now you don't really need to see the film. <laughs> <laughs> it looked quite interesting. Cause it looked like Dwayne Johnson was playing the Rock in the film. Or, yes, he is. Yes. Yeah, is yeah, he playing the rock playing himself. who's still himself? And it's all. A, yeah, it sounds interesting. Put it that way. It's there's a little bit of inception towards the end of it. Yeah. Um, especially the kind of last bits of text that pop up with the. This is what these people are doing now. That that's a bit weird where it relates to him, but I won't say any more than that. <laughs> He's now acting in films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Well, it, I I will be going to see that. Cool, cool, I've, had, cool. I've had a bit of a busy week, so I haven't got round to it yet. I was going to say, you've got videos backing up a plenty at the moment, haven't you? Yeah, well, my long-awaited return <laughs> did arrive. You were away? <laughs> yeah, only a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> yeah, the the sort of unexpected, unprompted um, uh, sort of stint away from here without a laptop. Um I got the Get Fact video ready and I was midway through editing my next um, 10 unusual Pokemon video and then it was basically the trailer dropped and it was like, right, tomorrow we're doing a thing. I was like, oh, God, wow. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> excited, but at the same time I was like, well, I don't know how that affects my scheduling plan now. <laughs> mm. So yes. I've, uh, yeah. So I left the Get Fact video just going, mainly because I ended up working past the time that it was released on, so I couldn't actually cancel the video because I was genuinely didn't have a spare second to yeah. load up YouTube and go, right, it's cancelled, do that in a few days. So oh, that's there okay. for everyone to see, even though it's not been social media <laughs> you know, even though it's not been posted everywhere, it's still available on YouTube. It's had 10 views already, actually, so I'm quite happy with that. But um, yeah, it's the schedule changed. To analyse <laughs> the trailer. so. Yeah, and we're obviously are working in London. Don't get home till seven, 
by the time I've cooked dinner and started a video editing, it's only about two hours I've got. And to yeah. analyse a, a two and a half minute trailer followed by all the new starters being announced and then the, the map being released, mm. it's, uh, yeah, it, it takes time. <laughs> so, I'm... It, it, it took me long enough to write notes just on the trailer, let alone anything else. So uh, these will come. These will come soon enough. I don't think the parts two to four will be arriving in the hype of the release of the trailer. They'll be yeah. further on in time. But th I just wanted to get one out within the immediate couple of days after, and I managed to just about. Mm. So yeah, that's good. Kind of turn it into a sort of mini series ongoing in the next couple of weeks or something. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I think I'll try and release videos I've already edited and then carry on working on those in the... I say in the background, it's probably in the foreground because there'll be genuine videos. things, yeah. Yeah. How so, will this affect your Minecraft thing? Yeah, it's... Oh, I'm Are still you building kind of it. knocking that on the head because of what's happened with this, or...? I'll still be going ahead with it because I'm, I'm intrigued to see what similarities they're going to have now. <laughs> okay. Well, the fact that I've just finished building a massive castle, and on the map there seems to be a couple of castles, so it's like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm <laughs> building locations for the for the world now. I suppose that once it's out, it would be quite interesting to then do a a parallel side by side. Yeah. How right did I get it? Kind of thing. Yeah. Well, um, all of this is sort of segueing into the section I'm going to be talking about, which is generally the trailer. So I'll. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might as well start and carry this on, but let's yeah, I've go. um yeah, I've <laughs> let's go. <laughs> um, I've generally it's I've been looking at that trailer and I'm, if people have watched it, they'll know what I'm going to say here. But like the emphasis on farming and plants is it's like plants and gardening and everything is quite prominent, which is strange because the town like um in Kanto. All the place names were based off of like uh, colours of the, mm. and then obviously Pallet Town is a palette, so you know, <laughs> palette of colours. So that's it, that was that. Then Johto, you had like Blackthorn City. Um, I'm trying to think of the others now, like Cherry Grove. You know, I think they're tree names, if I'm correct, or plants or something. They, along those they lines. almost sound like kind of berries and like things that you'd forage for. Exactly right. Yeah. So I thought I'd carry on the theme in my in my furrow region, which is basically using British wildflowers as place names. So oh. we've got Meadow Sweet Town. I think at the moment I'm building Stone Crop City. You know, one of the final ones is going to be like Honeysuckle City or whatever or town or whatever. So it's I'll be interested to see if they're going to follow a similar theme in their maps and their town names, and if they do use flowers or anything like that, because Britain has got a hell of a lot of wildflowers. That yeah, come from this country, you wouldn't believe it. But if they do carry that on, it's going to be. I don't know what to do then. I'll have to change my place names. <laughs> <laughs> what to the actual ones? Yeah, but it'll be. It would be interesting. It I would think you should just write to Nintendo and go, "You stole all my ideas. <laughs> I want some royalties." <laughs> yeah, or let me beta test the game. Or that. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's already my plan. If anything crops up that I've actually invented myself, I will email and be like, here's the video of proof that I did this before you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not annoyed. However, if you could do the courtesy of making me a beta test, beta test, what you want to call it, uh, I'll travel out to America and do that, and I'll see you there. Goodbye. <laughs> Although, in fairness, with, the, with all the testing and stuff, that will probably be a closed test that they'll just get people to go into a um, download a version of the game. Usually. Yeah, well, they've got the Pokemon Company in London, so mm. they could always just do it there. Either way, I'm I'm planning a hypothetical situation, <laughs> <laughs> but that would be good. Yeah, no, it's it was a it was a very interesting trailer. It it gave sort of nothing away, but just gave you a lot of information anyway. Yeah, I liked the shot when they were. It looks like you're in your house and you got the little munchlax there, but you've um got like a cup of tea on the table. And even things like the radiators are there, and it's like this is just British. <laughs> yeah, this is something my other half spotted out to me yesterday. The radiators. I wasn't. I wasn't going to mention it in the video because I wasn't sure if other countries had that sort of thing. But obviously, with like America and everything, the central heating within houses is present. But yeah, no, with Britain, we have the lovely radiators. <laughs> 
Yeah. And they they seem to be present in the houses, and it's just it's extremely interesting the detail they've gone into. And I've, I've as well I've mentioned in that trailer the um, the green sort of road signs or footpath signs. It's just, uh, if they're going to carry on little details like that throughout the entire game, I'm going to be extremely excited to play it and find out what... I'll be looking at every little bit in every little room in every house. It's just... <laughs> just <laughs> to every see building. the yeah. details they put in there, yeah. It's going to be I mean, so interesting. When I, when I first saw it, those sort of opening shots, I was like, oh, wow, that's the English countryside. Yes. <laughs> that it was so shot. obviously modelled on that. Yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't watch it live in work and I waited till I got home and I wasn't sitting in the break room with the laptop on <laughs> and the live stream ready. Of course I wasn't. I was not doing that at all. <laughs> so when I got home without looking at it at all and saw it, um, it was, yeah, that first shot where it's panning through the the little route road and you see in the background and it's, it was just like oh confirmed <laughs> I was one second in and I was like I already know that I'm going to enjoy this game <laughs> yeah because they did it with Generation 6 was based in France oh, th- oh this is a point I was going to say actually Generation 6 was based in France and a lot of it uh, a lot of the language like the NPCs used and the people around the towns they would often say like little French phrases relating to what they were doing and things like that but I'm, I'm now thinking, are we, are we going to get those references? Because obviously the game will be in English. Mm. So if they're ever saying English phrases, are we going to know that they're doing it? Well, if that makes also, any sense. Also, are they going to be Japanese versions of the oh, English-isms? Yeah. They might kind of go over our heads more than anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, that's I, I'm not worried about that, obviously. It's just that I'll have to watch a few... Uh, a few American style videos mm. and see what they say about certain bits because I'll be like, oh yeah, that's something we say. Because <laughs> we'll, re- you know, you could probably find it if you concentrate on every single sentence that every player is saying. You could probably figure it out. Mm. But obviously, we'll be reading naturally, and we'll be like, yep, yeah, that's the thing people say, <laughs> and it won't even register in our heads that it could be a, a stereotypical British thing An to English-ism. say. Englishism, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of anything now, actually. <laughs> Well, from any Essex related ones, it's like, you want, mate? <laughs> How dare you, you live in Suffolk? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I'll tell you, if any, if any NPC in this new game says, you want, mate, I'll just. <laughs> I'll, I will hold my hands up and just be like, yep, okay, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, one of the main talking points um, I found, because um, in England we've got a couple of like um, hill figure drawings. I, know, I can't remember the famous one. Um, but it's basically the man with the phallus. Uh, I yeah. can't remember its name off the top of my head. I actually wrote it down, but I've left a note in my room, and there's a sleeping person in there, so I'm not going to go back in. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, they've got the hill fig. We've got hill figures throughout England. We've got the horse as well, haven't we? Is it a horse or something running? Uh, I'm afraid you are asking the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. It, but but either way, we have hill figures like they're made out. Of I think like chalk, aren't they, in the UK? Yes. So, but there was one in this trailer. There was like one second of a hill figure, and I, oh, I don't know what it is. I've got so many thoughts on it. I'm going to go into it in more detail in a separate video. However, I thought I'd just try and spitball some ideas of what I think it could be, and I just, I don't know. I just, I've sent you the photo. Sorry to interrupt, I've just been yeah. Googling on the fly. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's the Cern Abbas giant chalk figure. That's it. The near Cern the village Abbas. of Cern Abbas in Dorset. That's it, Cern Abbas. Christ and it's sake. a turf cut so that you can kind of see the chalk. Um, ah, the chalk of the mountain that is underneath on the hill. it, yeah. yeah. Effectively. Ah, okay, yes. then. that's sort of what this is then. Yes. What we've got in the trailer. Oh, okay. Well, and what we can what we can do is actually have that picture up now. Yeah, go for it. So shall we are we going to we're talking about? Are we going to cover up the fellows, or shall we just be mature about it and yeah, show it? Yeah, it's fine. We're all adults here. It's not graphic content. It's in Dorset. I mean, you know, nothing bad happens in Dorset. <laughs> <laughs> Correct me in the comments if anyone's from Dorset and has seen something bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, yeah, we'll put that one up. Indeed. Uh, yeah, and then we had the hill figure in this trailer. 
of which I oh, <laughs> I this has got to relate to something that's going to happen. Mm. I think in my initial video when I was recording the audio for it, I said it was a person with a shield next to a sun, which could be it. But the more I've looked at it, the more I thought that I don't think that's a person. I think that's a Pokemon of sorts. Yeah, well, there's lots of then little people, it seems. Yeah. Are well, they... not little people, but little figures that represent people yeah. around it, all not kind of looking like they're having the best of times. So I'm wondering whether it may even relate to a past event. Yeah. It must do, because this this scenery looks mm. like, it, like throughout the whole trailer, looks like it's basing off of like history and lore, much yeah. like the UK is, to be honest. Well, it looks like this in the picture as well. It looks like it could easily be in Dorset, interestingly enough. Yeah, yeah, good point, yeah. So it could be... Yeah, I just I just love the fact that, obviously, the people creating this game have gone to Dorset and have looked at this. It's, oh, and it, yeah, um, yeah, it's many, many thoughts. I mean, I, at the moment, my mind changes quite frequently, but at the moment... I'm thinking it's a Pokemon with a tail, breathing fire, bringing destruction to the people of the the mm. Gala region, which is what the little ones are. Yeah. But you could also look at it and think that could be a person with a sword in its sort of on on the, you know hitched to its body, holding a shield, and there's loads of little Meltans around. Or it could be oh, it, it, <laughs> it just mm. it could be a Pokemon next to a sun, little Melt. It could be any uh, no ah. Oh, I was just looking at it going, what type would it be if it's breathing fire? But then it looks like it's got electric bolts coming out of it. It looks like the electric bolts are coming from the fire cloud. Because, interestingly, I, I wouldn't personally say sun, because it looks like the tail of it leads to or from the yeah. giant figure. Yeah, it does, indeed it does, actually. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we've got a fire electric type. Possib um, possibly a form... That another of Rotom, which is a a ghost electric type that can possess appliances and it can possess an oven and become electric fire. But I, apart from that, we haven't actually got an electric fire type like mm. all out electric fire. And if this legendary, a bringer of destruction, is going to be an electric fire type that basically burns or zaps anything, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be like oh yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems to scream legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, if this isn't the legendary Pokemon, I don't know what it will be. A human? Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. I'm gonna I'm can't wait to find out. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to start in the south, which is where sort of where we live, which is great actually. <laughs> hmm. So essentially, we this is this is our Pokemon journey. <laughs> yes. But yeah, um, this is uh, just. Quickly before I wrap up, I've been watching loads of like trader analysis, and generally people have got the same thoughts. But basically, everyone's opinion, like every single one I've watched, has said this is the exact style of a region that is what you want. Like if you say to someone, imagine a Pokemon region, you imagine this sort of thing. You know, the forestry and greenery all round a place, and just bright, vibrant areas. You know, this is everyone's saying that they've not just gone back to the old style, which is like gyms and, you know, going around a region rather than the last one, which was four islands and doing trials, which was all right. But, yeah, everyone's saying that they've not just gone back to that style, they've gone back to what is 100% expected and wanted and mm. and exceptionally back in the ballpark, and I'm really looking forward to it. Not just the games, but also the anime as well that's going to come with it. It's going to... Oh. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I think the whole the whole generation six for me, the Kalos region, the games, the anime, all of that was spot on. I really enjoyed it, and I'm. I think this is going to follow suit. I think the whole storyline is going to be great, and the game's going to be great, and the anime is going to be great as well. So bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> More to come. Watch the channel, and we'll have fun. I, if they do what they did with Generation Seven and release a Pokemon. Or a cut two or three Pokemon in a video once every week or two, from like sort of May June time. Then that'll be awesome, and I'll do separate videos on those. Mm. Or they might just not tell you any Pokemon and just let you buy the game and find out yourself. Nah, they'll nah. they'll have to do a bit of teasing. Yeah, they can't go I'm, too I'll, cold. I'll um, 
I'll, I'm going to do a video literally just saying all the Pokemon I've invented. I can't draw, so I won't do that. And then if any of them crop up, I'll just say how good I, uh, how good I am at predicting the future. <laughs> but yes, that's all from me. Just wanted to get some hype and opinions out on this on this new trailer we've got. And I really want it to be... Well, they say late 2019, but it's going to be November, so I really want it to be November. Yeah, of course it will be, just in time for Christmas. Yeah. It can't come out any later than that because they won't be able to pick up enough pre-holiday uh, sales from it. No. So. Bring it on. Bring it yeah. on. <laughs> cool. Anyway, enough of me. <laughs> well, I'm going to kind of follow in the same vein um, okay. and and just gush about the Switch and my experiences on uh, Let's Go, funnily enough. Oh, okay then. And as people may or may not be aware, obviously the last time we were in a room together, I got my hands on your version of uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Indeed. On your Switch with your game. And then, unbeknownst to me, actually received a copy of said game. Yeah, um, I, I, it was very weird. I didn't know about that before I got to your place. <laughs> but while you were doing something, I can't remember now, I think you were maybe in the, having a having a lavatory break or getting changed or something, I can't remember now. It was just before we were going back in to do the sort of second half, which was including that, and um, your your lovely other half said that it was literally on its way. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think when Marinda I heard the doorbell go, I was like, oh, well, this is weird because you're, <laughs> yeah. you're playing my version so that I can get you used to it because I was going to in general, that was all, always what I was going to do. So I can show you it, and while that's happening, it's literally being delivered as we speak. As we're in <laughs> it was here, very, yeah. it was very not awkward. It was very just coincidental. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, carry on. So yeah, I mean, I as you know, beyond the very old games that I used to own on a PC, um, which was why I was never able to trade with anyone because this was back before the proper days of the internet, and I'm not entirely sure how that would have worked on a ported version on a PC anyway, in a tiny little Game Boy-esque screen um, on, on your desktop. Um, I've, I've kind of got very much into um, red, blue, and yellow at the time, yeah. including the, all the cards and everything. And then, as you know... In my head, there are 151, and that is all. And <laughs> yeah. if I'm being honest, that's the one thing I'm a little bit kind of worried about to do with Sh Sword and Shield, is everyone's going to be familiar with most of what they encounter, and I'm going to be like, ah, so much new, <laughs> what's going on, my brain? Well, yeah, well, the only thing I'll say to that is I was exactly the same, but then I was in um, hospital for five days, and literally the the morning after I'd bought X and Y, I was in hospital for five days, so I took that and my 3DS with me. I only knew Generations 1 to 3, I've never met or seen 4, 5 and 6 at all. Mm. And like I say now, it's the best Pokemon game I've ever played so far, X and Y, so you oh, never okay. know if you yeah. do get it. Sorry, I, I <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I will be. <laughs> yeah, in a weird way, so, it's better to just go in in the deep end for something like that, it seems. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have to. I mean, there's no... I did... I do remember playing a little bit of gold. Yeah. Um, but because there were lots of new things that I didn't understand, and I was a lot younger than I am now, I was like, ah, different. I'm not really <laughs> sure I like different, so yeah. <laughs> I won't bother kind of really getting invested in this. Yeah. Um, but with this... To be honest as well, it's it's nice that the the kind of art style of it still is very similar to what they've done with Let's Go. It's almost like this was a pre-version of that. Yeah, yeah um, it was. Kind of use this established game in order to uh, get people used to what we're going to be doing later in the year. Um, so, yes, I've, I've played through um, till, well, effectively the end um, of it now and yeah. got my... Uh, self completely annihilated by Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a strong sod. <laughs> it is rather, yeah, and I thought, uh, we're kind of 60, 65 levels, this should be okay. No, dead, 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 <laughs> dead, dead. Okay, so rather than go through the slightly arduous task of uh, catching and levelling up, that's actually, that's one thing I would like to mention. 
Yeah. Obviously, with all the trainers and everything that you face throughout the game, you get money for. Yeah. As well as experience. And obviously, when you get to the end game, yes, you can still be getting experience by catching everything. Yeah. How do you earn money? <laughs> well, I you can rebattle the gym leaders. Okay. Uh, and also, you can take on the Elite Four as much as possible. Oh, okay. I think the gym leaders are once per day. Right. Um, and also you can get a nugget from Diglett in Future City once per day, and you can look after Slowpoke in uh, Pewter City once per day and get a big pearl. Oh, okay, so, so yeah. there are ways and means of, of acquiring <clears throat> yeah. some funds. Indeed, the gym leaders are the best one, though. They're oh, all okay. about level 55-ish. 55, oh, that's 60. not too bad then. Yeah, yeah, so they should be achievable straight away. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you could literally just fly from town to town and... Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. I'll maybe look into that a bit more, because effectively what I've done is uh, started completely from scratch again. Oh, okay. Under a kind of a, a dummy account or dummy version of myself on my Switch, obviously, so that I can have a new game save. Yeah. Because they only allow one per profile, which is really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but thank God we can have more than one per console now. <laughs> yes, yes, true. I, I definitely <laughs> wasn't prepared to go out and buy another Switch just so that I could play through the game from scratch. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> and I have decided, uh, against all better judgment, to just go down the normal route. Okay. So oh, my pe oh, my Pikachu literally. yes my Pikachu already doesn't know any lightning moves, <laughs> um, because obviously one issue with it uh, being the Let's Go Pikachu game is obviously you end up starting with Pikachu as opposed to Eevee, yeah. so it's impossible <laughs> to do completely normal based. Yeah, indeed it is. So he already doesn't know any lightning moves and will only be learning normal type moves. Okay. Yeah. And obviously, I had to catch a grass type in order to at least get into the yeah. uh, first gym, which was annoying, <laughs> and I forgot about that. Yeah, um, I think one of the gyms you need thirty Pokemon as well, don't you? Uh, yes, but um, all I will do is just Keep spam them. the same one. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. need to start doing that anyway, just to get my levels up, because obviously most that pop up, I'm ignoring. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I, ha I have my trusty list to hand as to what I'm allowed to catch and what I'm not allowed to catch. That's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be still catching five Growlithe so that I can get myself a Persian. Oh, right, yeah. Um, Good point. Which, yeah, which I wasn't aware about the first time I played it. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't do that on my first playthrough. <laughs> so, yeah, little things like that I will still be doing, but in, in terms of the actual ones that I will be properly collecting and using. I just thought it would be an interesting way of seeing how different the game plays because yeah. obviously the first time I went through it you very much playing to weaknesses and and resistances and it, it kind of becomes very kind of you, it's just one kill yeah one hit kills instantly all the way through yeah um, and it it can be kind of not tedious, but it, it kind of samey over time, yeah. especially if you're using the support character and it's two on one. Oh right, yeah. All the time, it's it's very much dead, yeah, dead, see. dead. <laughs> yeah. See, that's where normal is quite good then, because literally it's not strong against anything. No. Well, I say not strong. It's, it hasn't got a type advantage against anything. No. And it's only weak to fighting, so it's only got one weakness out of 18. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't really found too many stupid disadvantages. It's more level-based. Yeah, I mean, or... the only way to get... Well, the best way to get around it is a Pidgeot or, so, or something flying, because normal flying and flying's good against fighting. So it's, Yeah. That's, that's that done. <laughs> that's that sorted, yeah, and then you've got effectively no resistances. Yeah. Yeah. And to be honest as well, it'll be interesting using Pokemon that I never really would have bothered with in the past. Oh, right. Like, so at the moment, I'm trying to get my Chansey that I've just caught oh, relatively okay. strong. And usually, that's just one of those. I catch it, and it never sees the light of day. Yeah. <laughs> same with the Jigglypuff. Oh, right, um, yeah. Same with the Licky Tongue. They're just like, yeah, yeah, hi, you're also here, go away. 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever really used a Chansey, to be honest. No. Its stats are very... just crazy, because I think their defence is exceptionally low, but their special defence is exceptionally high. Yes, so it's just and it seems to have a lot of health, yeah, so I oh, thought it was stronger yeah. than it was, Yeah. because it was on a much lower level than most of my other um, ones that I'd collected, but its health was fairly comparable. So yeah. I stupidly thought it was stronger than it was, and then it just kept getting annihilated. Yeah. So obviously, once that's been built up a bit, and once I get some candies to improve its defence and bring it in line with uh, with the other ones, then hopefully that will then become kind of one of the forefront of the team. Yeah, hopefully. That'd once it can actually defend itself. <laughs> Have you planned your team so far, or are you just winging it? Um, well, I'm trying to make it so that I have different Pokemon, rather than okay. just five Pidgeots, for example. <laughs> yeah. Um, so at the moment, um, I am, I've, have I just, yeah, I've just defeated Misty, so I'm only two okay. gyms in anyway. So in terms of what I could actually catch, um, I think all the normals that have been available to me are all in my team. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've got Spearow and Pidgey, um, obviously my normal Pikachu, yeah. <laughs> uh, Rattata, and the Alolan Rattata, oh, right, yeah. which oh, is quite a nice little change. Yeah, um, I, like, I like the look of Alolan Rattata, it's quite nice, with a little tash. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go, it's your like, first taster into a new Pokemon, sort of. <laughs> Yeah, again, that was one of those I kind of didn't experience that as playing through when I played through the first time, like that and the Geo dude and however many others there might be yeah. from different regions. So it'd be interesting to see how many more. They're probably going to tell me there aren't any more, but <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> how many the, more yeah. are, are lurking. The Alola forms were only based off of certain Kanto Pokemon. They're all in this game. Oh, okay. The Alola Marowak, I think, is my favourite because it becomes a ghost fire type, which is cool. Ooh, nice. So, that'd be good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, That's in there maybe somewhere. I yeah, should I've, go I've, back I've... to my first one and try and collect that then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I haven't I haven't actually used any of them in any of the run throughs I've done. I probably should, actually. <laughs> mm. But oh well, yeah. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> no, no. So, it, yeah, it's just kind of opened up the gate. It's almost like playing a, a different game. Yeah. Because of the way it's uh, it's it's kind of opened things up and, and made me aware of different things and it makes you play it in a different way which is quite nice and it's always something I used to do with like old Final Fantasy games yeah. um, it kind of self handicapping um, yeah. just to see how how detailed the game is and, and how different it makes it feel yeah it. a lot of people do them as challenges mm. So they'll do like a, a, I think they call it a type lock, but a lot of people will use three or four types and they can't catch a Pokemon if they've got anything other than those. Yeah, see that's the thing, I'm not even catching others Yeah. either. So it's not like I'm catching sand shrews to level myself up and then just not using them, I'm literally walking past them. Yeah. Which is why my levelling is a bit wonky at the moment, because <laughs> obviously the majority of things I'm having to walk past. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, it's it's a good way to do it. I might have to nick the idea soon and do it. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's it's something that is quite interesting. I think the normal types in Generation One are very, very, uh, very strong as well in certain cases. Mm. Course, there, yeah. There's enough of them as well. That was my concern. Yeah. Because I was going to do Grass type. Oh right, yeah. Um, but beyond the first couple that you get. Yeah. You're then waiting a long time before you get anything else. Yeah, very good point. So yeah. at least with this, there was a, a fairly wide balance and yeah. you could collect a fair few at the beginning. Yeah, I suppose it's just Oddish, Paris, and then... What else is that? Tangela? Oh, yeah, it's not really um, that many. Bulbasaur. And oh, right, yeah, I forgot about Bulbasaur. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I not think really. that was it. yeah. yeah. The normal types have got some good ones, haven't they? They got the, well, they got Snorlax, Tauros, Kangaskhan. Mm. I mean, they're, they're strong enough already. Just those 
those three. <laughs> yeah, but again, when I was playing through the first time, even though their levels are quite good when you get them, mm. um, I used the Snorlax a little bit, but most of them, because they don't have that type advantage, just get completely pushed aside. Yeah. Yeah. So. Whereas they can actually be quite powerful. Mm. I think on my stadium run through, I used Tauros quite a lot. And I just. Yeah, because it, 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 a lot of normal types, in Generation 1 specifically, can learn a lot of varied moves. Like, for some reason, I don't know why, but I think Kangaskhan, Snorlax, and Tauros can all learn, like, Thunderbolt and Ice Beam and things like that. And it's just. <laughs> so they can learn varied moves. It's really interesting. Yeah, and we, once I build up my TM collection, yeah. that's kind of the next the next plan. Make some of them a bit more kind of type specialists a bit, but obviously they won't have an overwhelming strength in it because they're still <coughs> the normal type. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Yeah, so I will keep you posted. <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> will we expect to see any footage from your Switch? Um, probably once I move, to be honest. Yeah. At the, at the moment, the setup that I've got, it's just too awkward to keep moving yeah, the uh, the Switch and the PS4 into the other room. Um, whereas once I've moved, um, because I'm then obviously planning on twitching as well, of course, that yeah. will be kind of when I use the, the kind of more modern consoles, probably more for Twitch than, than YouTube, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll expect yeah. to see that, and we'll look forward to that, I'm sure. I hope so. Yeah. Be a nice sort of change of pace. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think while I'm here, following on from that, I'll quickly say to people that I am in the process of moving recording room to my mum's old computer room. It's just that literally, <laughs> like, um, the Mon I think it was Monday evening... When I was going to plan on just moving a few bits around and getting it set up was when they announced <laughs> the, the trailer was coming on Tuesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I had to quickly do my predictions video, which I was sort of assembling over the past, I'm going to say about six months actually. Uh, I was just sort of assembling Gen 8 stuff. But then it was like, oh, by the way, tomorrow. I was like, oh, God, <laughs> <laughs> record Quick. something. Record ah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. a poster on the wall. <laughs> I've got it, yeah. So I... Gladly, I got it recorded. Yeah, literally, I've got one poster on the wall. I was like, right, that'll do. <laughs> Haven't got enough time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I recorded, edited. Uh, yeah, recorded, edited, and uploaded in two and a half hours. Yeah, something. It's, it's yeah. almost like when when people are doing that, they're they're not thinking about YouTubers having to record videos based on what they're doing. It's very yeah. very inconsiderate. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Couldn't have given us more notice. Mm. But yeah, so, but uh, yeah, and um, so that recording room will be set up at some point and I'll start recording from there preferably like while sitting down and have the actual desk arranged so that I can do that I think I've got a monitor that the switch can plug into as well so I can do game capture in there and oh, hopefully cool. yeah hopefully get it all sorted mm. yeah I just wanted to quickly mention that because I forgot to at the start actually yeah, that's cool. it's in the process that's why a lot of the videos at the moment are voiceovers because I've, there's currently a treadmill in the old recording room <laughs> my old bedroom <laughs> And the new one isn't set up yet, so <laughs> a lot of voiceovers for now. Voiceovers and find some game capture to stick over the top of it. Yeah, literally, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, I think I'll go and try, try and sort some of that out in a moment, actually. Cool. Well, yeah. I'm off into town. <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, enjoy town. I will certainly try yeah. to not get rained on. <laughs> oh, it is wet outside. Yeah, yeah. it was great. a very Pokemon centric podisode this was, week. Yeah, I just well, it's I've been playing a lot of the Switch lately, and uh, obviously you kind of guided me yeah. towards that game specifically as well. So it's a, good, it's a great game. It is, yeah, and it's it's, it's kind of for me personally has come at the perfect time to kind of ease me into what is to come later in the year because that's yeah. definitely something I want to be picking up. Yeah, very much think that was their intention. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's very obvious now as well. Yeah. Yeah, no, it'll be good. I'll look forward to that. It'll be out in November, I'm predicting. So. Yeah. In time for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, exactly mm. right. The, the Friday before Thanksgiving, usually. Well, yeah, because then you get the Black Friday and 
the Cyber Monday stuff, don't you? So, Very much so, yeah. Yeah, perfect timing for them. Yeah, so we shall we shall see. Hmm. It will be fun. All right then. Well, until next until next time. Well, I'll try and think of something not Pokemon related. But <laughs> I didn't think I had a choice for this one. So. No, 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 indeed. No, yeah. Okay. Well, until next time. It's been good. It's been fun again. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Well, goodbye everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.